welcome here on stage by Scott Byfield, a business development team, U.S. Grand First. All over to you, sir. Hello, everyone. First, I just want to say thank you so much for having me today. Thank you for welcoming me to your wonderful country. Thank you for the opportunity to speak with you all today. It's a, it's a true honor, and I'm so happy to be here. Today, I'm here to represent Grundfos. We are a pumping solutions uh, provider, primarily a manufacturer of pumps and controls. However, we have a unique perspective, and that is that we build our products to pioneer solutions for the world's water and climate challenges with a strong focus on improving people's quality of life. So we do this both through our products as well as through our business structure, and I'll show you a little bit more about how that, uh, how that takes place. So Grunfoss started uh, back in 1945 in a uh, Danish gentleman's basement where he built a irrigation pump that solved the water needs of his community. And this idea of, of building our products to solve water problems is still in our DNA. This is our driving force. We build, we build products to solve water problems with key themes of sustainability built in. So we came to India in 1997. Uh, we have now grown from that small basement in Denmark to 20,000 plus employees. We now produce about 16 million products per year. And one unique aspect about Grundfos is that 87.6% of our company is owned by a foundation. I'll explain the implications of this foundation ownership in just a few minutes. So sustainability is truly at the heart of everything that we do. And there are really three sustainability themes that drive us as Grundfos. Number one is emissions reduction. So decarbonizing the flow of water, both through efficient pumping products, as well as providing products that can uh, accept multiple forms of energy, including solar power. Second key theme for us is water access. So providing safe access to water for people in need through water solutions and through partnerships. And third is circular business. So embedding circularity and becoming a sustainable, a sustainable organization ourselves in our own manufacturing process, in our own business. So I'd like to show just a quick snapshot of uh, our product portfolio. First on the left is the SQ Flex pump. This is a submersible solar water pump that is uh, often considered the most reliable high-tech solar pump on the market. We also offer a range of controllers. These will accept both grid power and DC power. We also manufacture highest efficiency pumps and motors on the market, as well as other products like the AQ Tap. So this is a water ATM that enables water, rural water communities to have a sustainable supply and transactional interface. So you can see that this is just a snapshot of our product portfolio, but you can see that within each of these products, we focus on sustainability, we focus on efficiency, alternative energy sources and solving problems. We don't just build products just to build them, we build them with a purpose. I mentioned the Grundfos Foundation, which is a majority owner of Grundfos. So we have, eight, the Grundfos Foundation owns 87.6% of the company and therefore receives 87.6% of the profits generated by, by Grundfos. So the majority of this profits that go into the Grundfos Foundation are then redeployed and reinvested through philanthropic projects back into those key goals, sustainable goals for us, like water access, like efficiency. 
So here's just some information about some of the donations uh, from the Grundfos Foundation and how it's been impacted here in India. So first off, just as an overview, 3.1 billion INR uh, was donated through philanthropic projects by the foundation in 2023 globally. And then here are highlighted two projects uh, that, that we funded in India. The first one is uh, the Hand in Hand India project, which we donated 3.6 million INR. And the second is the India Water Project, which there was a contribution from the foundation of 190 million INR. And so I'll go into a bit more detail about this India Water Project how we used our products, how we used our philanthropic arm in order to really make an impact on our ambitions. So the India, India Water Project started in 2014 in partnership with Sunlit Future and other local development NGOs. The original intention was to bring 100 villages drinking water at the, at the inhabitation level using those SQ-Flex solar pumps. However, the project was so successful that it's continued on today. So we've far exceeded the 100 village goal, and we've now reached about 618 villages. The project is ongoing right now. It's in eight states within India, and we've reached approximately 36,000 households. So this is just an example of how we can utilize our products, our, our innovative products, that can use alternative energy sources that are highly efficient. We can then combine it with our philanthropic arm and we can really make an impact on some of these global water challenges. So we've recently increased our focus, not just on water access, not just on efficiency, but now we're looking very closely at water supply management. So water supply management, of course, is promoting the sustainable use of water resources through the technology partnerships, research, and education. So how can we both develop our products and utilize the philanthropic arms of our organization in order to bolster water supply management within our markets globally? Of course, there are very, we, we know now that the causes of this uh, water supply management challenge with increasing uh, degradation of water uh, quality, uh, groundwater levels decreasing globally, and 75% of the population anticipated to be affected by drought by 2050. So the, the key here is we at Grudfoss, we're here to learn, we're here to listen. There is no one size fits all solution for groundwater management globally. So we are here to learn what is the need of the market here so that we can come up with a sustainable solution and build a better future together? Thank you very much.